Okay, so today I'm going to talk about putting a four jaw chuck on a Grizzly G4015 and uh, the reason I, I ended up buying this when I bought my lathe about two or three years ago and I never have actually mounted it. Um, I bought it because I thought I might have a square piece or something that I want to turn, but the project never came up. And then a project came up that I needed to be super accurate, and my three jaw chuck is running about two thousandths out, when, and there's no real way to adjust that three jaw chuck, so that's when you really need to go to a four jaw. And where you can get it dead nuts centered to to do your turning job. So <clears throat> the reason I hadn't put this on before is it's got four screws in the back, and the G4015 has three screws. So it was going to end up being a project, and that's why I just never got to it because I didn't have a project that warranted me doing the project. So let's look at uh, what we can do to get this mounted. Here you can see I had the chuck off and the, the three holes that the new four jaw chuck needs to go on. I searched everywhere on the web for an adapter and I finally found one and the four jaw would go perfectly on here, fits right in there. But on this side, even though it's got their correct hole pattern, it's not machined out large enough to fit on there. And actually it doesn't have any screws where this could actually be attached even if it was. So this ended up being a bust. So a little machine shop has a little template that you can print out and it allows you to drill a line and drill four holes in your spindle. So after thinking about it, the accuracy of hand drilling these holes uh, didn't uh, make me too happy. And the spindle also is counterboard on the back side here so that the cap screw heads fit flush and there's no way I'm going to be able to do that without disassembling the whole thing. So <clears throat> yes I could just get a longer screw and have three of the four screws you know protruding it would probably work but I overall just didn't really like that solution. I decided why don't we just go ahead and modify the four jaw chuck and drill two holes in it that'll accommodate my spindle. In setting up the chuck on to the table, one of the first things I had to figure out is I wanted to get these exactly aligned <clears throat> on the Y axis. And to do that, I used the center finder and I just located in those holes and went to this side of them touching here and then touching here until I had them uh, probably within a, a thousands and so I knew that my Y axis was going to be nice and straight. Once I had the center of my hull I could determine the radius from the center uh, out on the four chuck here. And having that, I then know the diameter of the circle around from the center here. And there's some formulas on the web that let you easily say, I want a, uh, three holes around a particular diameter. And it'll give you uh, the factors of where to put in these next two holes. Assuming I'm going to use one here. So I just calculate for these two holes. Okay, so here's the book everyone should have if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's a really handy engineering book. 
has all sorts of all the information at a quick glance that you'd ever need. But it's where I pick up my uh, hole locating, and you can see here <clears throat> that's the one I did three holes. And you just basically multiply these factors uh, by the uh, diameter of your hole, and it comes up with the points that you need uh, to be able to drill various holes pattern so it's a real handy book I'd suggest picking it up if you don't have it okay I located the center of that hole and just to test to make sure I'm all lined up I threw a drill bit in there and it goes in there fine and it does on the back side too so I'm nice and straight and right on the money and I've been able to, t to determine the diameter of the center of those holes. screws that I'm putting in there are 8 millimeter with a 1.25 pitch and I'm just going to manually tap these. I'm going to start off with a plug tap and uh, then finish off with a bottom tap just to get all the way down in there. Now, I'm not sure if I really want to use any lube or not. Cutting, I can't remember if you use cutting fluid. This looked like a cast, so I'm going to see how it goes without it. bottom tap okay quick review I <clears throat> first of all aligned these so that they were parallel and then I determined my center point then I determined the center point of this hole which gave me the diameter and then I was able to check the manual for the formulas of what are the XY coordinates for those two holes to drill and there we have it Beautifully mounted four jaw chuck, three inch, on my G415 lathe. Thanks for watching.